How's it going guys? Kevin Klebs here and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. So in this guide, I'm going to be showing you one of the best locations for Ruby. Now this particular location gives a lot of Ruby. There are dangers on the way, but I'll explain that on the way. Okay, so where do we need to go? Where do we need to start from? Now I'm going to turn fog off for the moment. We're going to be starting from this formation here, uh, which you can't really miss it. It's a bit north northeast of your drop pod your drop pod will be there there or there typically uh, please don't start from your drop pod so the distance and direction i give you will be accurate now we're going to be going effectively to the mercury 2 mercury 2 stern part of the ship and going from there so if you know where that is then by all means go there and then scrub forward on this video and we'll go from there if you don't then follow me Okay, so we're going to be going two clicks left of south. We're going to be going a thousand meters to the Mercury 2 stern ship. Okay, let's go. Now, we're going to be going ultimately around about 250, possibly 300 meters deep. So I do recommend you have depth module Mark 2 for the sea truck. Now, there are um, a lot of shellacerates, like several shellacerates in this area, uh, which can do a lot of damage to the sea truck. So it is beneficial to have the afterburner, um, and if you've got the perimeter defense system, then good, you're good to go. Obviously, that does require a ruby to craft, um, and you may have got that ruby from somewhere else. If you haven't, then just keep on going, guys. Okay, so two clicks left of south. I'm going to be hitting the Mercury 2 very soon. Okay, we've hit the Mercury 2 stern part of the ship. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the back end of it and you want to go to the other side of it if you can do and then you want to sort of point between south and southwest and you want to sort of get down in to the seabed and what you should be seeing is these two trees here the tree spires you just go between those and this is where you want to slow down now shall last right there one there there's usually a couple one at least or maybe even two sort of there wait for your clearing and then go and you want to keep on the south sort of direction lots of bent gardens this lusher may have me here but just keep on south guys Okay, so what you're looking at now is this big formation here. He's after me. He's after. Yeah. Okay, so what you're looking at is this big formation here. You want to wait till it's very clear, obviously. And then. Nearby spires are substantial thermal vent structures. Hospitable coral formation. Then you effectively want to sort of go down to around about 250 meters or so. You should start seeing. So, one ruby there. If you look at the cliff face, you'll find more. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another ruby, another ruby, another ruby in the background, one there, and this is it guys, this is, you're going to get at least 20, maybe even 30 rubies just spending a few minutes around this location. It is dangerous, but you will certainly get the ruby. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember like, subscribe and comment, ciao for now, bye bye.